The cost in dollars to produce X designer dog leashes is given by C of X, and the revenue function in dollars is given by R of X. We are first asked to determine the profit function, P of X. Remember, the profit function is equal to the revenue function minus the cost function, because the revenue function gives us the money coming in, the cost function gives us the money going out, and the difference, or what's left over, is the profit. And because we are given the cost and revenue functions, we can determine the profit function. The profit function, big P of X, equals R of X minus C of X. This gives us the quantity negative 2X squared plus 59X minus the quantity 7X plus 10. It is important that we have the cost function in parentheses so that we subtract the entire cost function. Now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. If it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one. Distributing positive one doesn't change anything. We have negative 2x squared plus 59x. When distributing negative one, we have negative one times seven x, which equals negative seven x, giving us minus seven x. And then negative one times 10 is equal to negative 10, giving us minus 10. Or we can just think of subtracting both terms inside, which gives us minus seven x minus 10. And now we combine like terms, there are two x terms. So the profit function big P of x equals negative two x squared, and then 59 x minus seven x is 52 x, giving us plus 52 x minus 10. This is our profit function. Next, we're asked to find the number of leashes needed to be sold to maximize the profit and also determine the maximum profit. Well, we should recognize P of X is a quadratic function and therefore the graph is a parabola. And because A, the leading coefficient, is negative two, the parabola opens down. Let's take a look at the graph of the profit function. Again, we have a parabola opening down along the horizontal axis. We have the number of dog leashes Along the vertical axis, we have the profit in dollars. So we should be able to recognize that if we can determine the ordered pair for the vertex, this point here, the highest point on the graph, the first value of the ordered pair is going to give us x, the number of dog leashes that must be sold to maximize the profit, and the second value of the ordered pair is going to be the output or function value, which will give us the maximum profit. And because the profit function is in general form, or the form ax squared plus bx plus c, we can use this formula here to determine the ordered pair for the vertex. So for the profit function P of X, A is equal to negative two, B is equal to 52, and C is equal to negative 10. The X coordinate of the vertex is equal to negative B divided by two A. This equation also gives us the equation of the axis of symmetry. Performing substitution, B is equal to 52, giving us negative 52 divided by two times A, and A is negative two, giving us two times negative two. So we have X equals negative 52 divided by negative four, which is equal to positive 13. So for the vertex, we know the first value of the ordered pair, or the X coordinate, is 13, which means 13 dog leashes must be sold in order to maximize the profit. And now we need to evaluate the profit function at 13 to determine the maximum profit. So P of 13 is equal to negative two times the square of 13 plus 52 times 13 minus 10. 13 squared is equal to 169, giving us negative two times 169 plus 52 times 13 minus 10. And now we multiply, giving us negative 338 plus 676 minus 10. And now we add and subtract from left to right, which gives us 328. So now we know the maximum profit is $328. Again, the ordered pair for the vertex is 13 comma 328. The 13 indicates 13 dog leashes must be sold to maximize the profit and the 328 indicates the maximum profit is $328. Going back to our first slide, 13 dog leashes must be sold to maximize the profit.
the maximum profit is $328. And then finally, we're asked to find the price to charge per lease to maximize the profit. Let's go back to our notes for a moment. Little p of x equals the price demand function in dollars, where little p of x represents the selling price, and we know x represents the quantity sold, which means the revenue function r of x can be expressed as little p of x times x, or if we want, x times little p of x. And we need to find little p of x in order to determine the selling price to maximize the profit. So we now know that the revenue function r of x can be expressed as little p of x times x, or x times little p of x. Let's say x times little p of x. And the revenue function is equal to negative 2x squared plus 59x. So if we factor out an x, we can determine the price demand function little p of x. We factor out x we're left with the quantity negative 2x plus 59, where again, this is x, and therefore, little p of x must be equal to negative 2x plus 59. So now that we know that little p of x is equal to negative 2x plus 59, we can determine the selling price to maximize the profit, because remember, x is equal to 13 when the profit is maximized. So we need to find little p of 13, which is equal to negative 2 times 13 plus 59, which equals negative 26 plus 59, which is equal to 33. So now we know the price per leash must be $33 to maximize the profit. So going back to our first slide one last time, again, the price per leash must be $13 to maximize the profit. I hope you found this helpful.